Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the saturated unit weight for a giving soil. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so before we start, I just want to say that I've done this problem before, however, there was some sort of a typo, and so to avoid any sort of confusion, I just wanted to just redo it again. Okay, so we are giving the void ratio, which is 0 0.41, the unit weight of the solid is 33 kilonewtons per cubic meter, so know already that we have to use SI units. Uh, and we need to find the saturated unit weight. So the first thing I would do, like we did in the previous videos, is write the equation for the unit saturated, uh, for the saturated unit weight. So we have gamma saturated, and the equation is right here, and it's on page 152 uh, on the NCS handbook. So we have the specific gravity plus the void ratio divided by... 1 plus the void ratio and this whole thing is multiplied by the unit weight of the water. So looking at the equation already, uh, I can already see that we need only to find the specific gravity. The void ratio is given to us and the unit weight of the water is, is a constant, it doesn't change, we have it right here. And make sure you use the 9.81 since we're dealing with um, the SI units. I would also recommend that you keep in mind of the kilonewtons. Make sure if we're using kilonewtons here, all your variables has to be in kilonewtons and not newtons. So you have to keep your units consistent or else you would get the wrong answer. Okay, so let's start um, calculating for the specific gravity. So let's write the equation for GS. So we have it here. Um, it's given to us. So we have the weight of the solid divided by the volume of the solid times the unit weight of the water. So the units of the water is the same one as here. Now we just need to find the weight of the solid over the volume of the solid. But if you look at the equation of the unit weight of the solid, which was the variable that is given to us, you can see that the unit weight is equal to the weight divided by the volume of the solid. So we can easily replace this term. Let me uh, do it in a different color. So this term right here, we can replace that with the unit weight of the solid. So we can rewrite this equation as unit weight of the solid divide that by the unit weight of the water. So another thing I would actually like to do, let's, uh, let's do it this time with green. I would like to derive this, this term right here. How is the unit weight equals to the weight divided by the volume? Let's write here uh, derivation, since we're going to uh, derive the unit weight uh, in terms of the weights over volume. Okay, so we have the unit weight as you guys know the units for the unit weight is equal is newtons per cubic meters right in si that's what we have here so that's the units for unit weight what we can do is rewrite the unit weight in terms of density times g so let me show you how this works so density is equal to mass over volume right volume is cubic meters. Uh, the mass is in kilograms, right? Now the gravity is, uh, let's just write g, and that one usually is meters per second squared. So from here, if you take just mg, which is kilograms times meters per second squared, that gives us the unit of Newton, which is a force. So that's the unit for a force. And weight is type of force, is an external force. So mg is our weight, and that's in newtons. And then v stays v, and then we have cubic meters. So 
this is why we have the unit weight is equal to the weight over volume. I hope this uh, helps you guys understand the equation a little better and also will help you remember in case in the test, if you see the weight over volume, you remember, oh, this, there's a relationship between this and the unit weight. Okay, so let's go back to solving. So let's uh, pick blue. So we have the unit weight was given as 33 kilonewtons per cubic meters divided by 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meters. If you plug in this in your calculator, you will get an answer of 3.36. And note here that we have uh, no units. Specific gravity is usually a dimensionless um, variable. And the units here cancels, which is good. Also, make sure you keep track of your units. It really helps you prevent uh, doing mistakes. And it's really good practice to do it as you guys doing these type of problems. Okay, so once we figured out our specific gravity, now we can just go back here and calculate our saturated unit weight. So I have GS, which is 3.36, plus the void ratio is 0 0.41, divided by one plus 0.41, and this term is multiplied by 9.81, kilonewtons per cubic meters. So this should give you an answer of 26.2 kilonewtons per cubic meters. So that is your answer. And so that's answer C. Okay, guys, so remember, a problem a day keeps the F away. And if you guys have any questions or a specific topic that you would like me to go over, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine!